Hey guys, this is Marie from Red Fox Escapes in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to show you a little synopsis of picking locks. If you knew us, you would know that uh, it is quite uh, indicative of our personalities that I spent $10 on a little set of lock picks when I first learned to pick locks. In fact, it's the only set I have ever owned um, from Amazon. And Nika went all out for the full professional thief version of lock picking sets. So um, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the principle with lock picking, here we have a nice transparent lock, so you can see this is where the key would normally go in. But if you lift up one of these pins here, you can see that little black line. That line is a gap between these two different pins. And when that line is exactly on the edge of this barrel that will allow you to turn the barrel, you want to line up all of the pins so that they're all lined up with that um, gap in a straight line which is actually what happens when you insert the key. And now you can see the tops and the bottoms of these are then all going to be aligned the same way. And when you turn the key, that allows you to open the lock. So the top parts of the pins are all the same size and then the bottom parts are all different sizes. So the key, the pin that is on this part of the key is going to be much shorter than the pin that's on this part so that when you insert the key they all end up at the same height and now I will show you how that works from a picking perspective so you need to have a tool like this to put some pressure uh, rotational pressure on the barrel and then you take your pick and what you want to do is one by one you end up um, whilst putting some pressure you end up making it so that all those pins align and then you can open the lock like that 